Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and... Bradley. Bradley and the fly bird. I don't know. What do you think, Pam? Do you think I need to feed this bird some? I'm going to answer your email, but I thought that was so funny what you put. But yeah, he might need a meal or two. What do you think? Tastes like chicken. Yeah, not much chicken. Just tastes like chicken bones. But him a cute guy. Pop. Howdy, 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 y'all. Tracy here and the bread man and the bird and the dog and the cat and the little frogs and the lizards outside. They were so cute today. But anyway, it is September 4th. 2017 you'll be watching this tomorrow which will be the fifth it is 10 52 p.m and yes you hear bread man rattling around because do you need any of your tools out to fix the man no. he's been putting up cup hooks to put the uh, I told you guys we had he we had just kind of thrown the rope lights up and so he was finishing uh putting those up and now he's got to fix the rattly fan um, let's see. I know I made my video late last night. Not really much anything else happened. Um, we had scrambled eggs. And Brad cooked some sausage for him. But we just made scrambled eggs and, um, bread for dinner. And, um, went to bed. I wasn't feeling real hot. He wasn't feeling real hot. I did take some cold medicine. He decided not to because he thought maybe he, could, he would be okay without it. <clears throat> he kind of paid for it all day today. Um, and, uh, but we made the, excuse me, we're all coughing and snorking around. Excuse me. <coughs> we made the best of it today. And, oh, he did bring me home this little spider last night. So cute. It's like the one that he got for Linda, except for this one's purple. I'm not going to turn it on, because then I just... <laughs> can't shut it off. Uh, I will turn it off. See? That's what it does. And it has a suction cup <laughs> on the bottom. Now pray I can m figure out how to... Nope. See, now I have to end the gym. I can't shut it off. <laughs> I guess I know my hair looks a fright because we've been outside messing and playing all day. So, yep. Um, but so, when we got up and finally got going, we didn't go to the beach today. Uh, cause we thought it would be busy. Uh, we went into town. <coughs> we did get Slurpees. And we did stop at Subway and got some sandwiches. And then we went over to Otter Lake, which is a beautiful park. And we ate lunch. And, you know, just sat and talked, you know. And um, I did my walk. I told you guys three times a week I am working on getting more exercise. And um, so I did a nice walk. Probably breath is about a half a mile. Maybe just a little bit more. Um, but I'm doing better on my walking, so that's great. Um, someday I'd love to get... Um, Maybe, I'm going to look for maybe an app on my phone that probably does the distance. I know some of them do. And, um, uh, you know, something like that would be nice to have. Um, but, uh, so we did that. And then, uh, came home and, um, I, I took some cold mess and laid down. And I stayed up for a little bit, worked on my 5D for a little bit. And then I laid down. And we got up, and we made, we grilled hamburgers outside, and, and Brad did the whole, he just buy the frozen patties, and he did the whole package, and then we repackage and freeze, you know, what we don't use. And then they work out well for his lunches or for a quick meal or whatever. <clears throat> so, um, we did that, and um, we used the toast oven now outside, which works out nice, because it doesn't heat up the entire RV. It doesn't take up space or anything uh, inside. So, you know, we used that and we ate dinner outside, which was lovely. And 
then we picked up and uh, all of that stuff and we just kind of been you know been doing some stuff around here and that's the last thing you have to do so are you okay okay don't forget those are up there um he's really sweating hard <clears throat> excuse me um we just got done a little bit ago it was really nice um uh if you guys ever watch the channel shoot the shit if not, you should go over and check them out. They are funny. Yeah. They are brother sister team, and they are comedy act, and they are hilarious. Well, they decided tonight they wanted to call us while they're live streaming. So they did, and we did, and we had a fun time. So that was a lot of fun. So, um, and I really appreciate them giving us a shout out for the fifty, uh, the hats for fifty states, and. I really, really appreciate that. Some nice people. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Nothing much. I do have one hat almost finished. But then it was getting late and I'm getting tired and stuff. So, But this is uh, a large adult. And if you can't really see it. It goes from the, the um, very, very faint pink color into a green here so it's almost a peach into a green mint green so yeah so yep so I'm working on that I'll be finishing that up tonight starting another one um I'm re-watching the orange is, is the new black which I really love that show um I want to check out some uh, some uh, books on on some auto books I know Linda uh, listens to them, and it would be nice to have something like that to listen to when I'm, like, doing housework or um, if I'm doing the 5D. I'm really not watching anything. I'm listening to stuff, and I do listen to, like, old live streams I've missed or something because um, I don't like to really listen to, to, to play the YouTube um, just the subscribers that I watch you know normally because I can't really watch them and I can't comment back if I'm busy doing the 5D so and I'm going to do some painting outside hopefully tomorrow I kind of got my area out there ready got it uncovered and stuff um, and stuff because I want to be able to work out there more uh, the weather will start cooling off soon so I will be able to go outside and paint more and that will be fun, you know. And, and the dogs are being good enough, and I am mobile enough now where I can control them. I can get up and take care of them. I can take them outside. When I say get up and take care of them, I mean when we're outside and stuff. So, um, you know, I can be, spend a lot more time outside. Um, which, uh, like today, we pretty much spent all day outside, didn't we, yeah, hon? it was nice. We did. And with these, that's what we love. You know, you say, okay, it's Labor Day, and I told you, and, oh, maybe I told Linda. I told Linda when, when Brad was, was, uh, down at the bathhouse. That I really wanted to go somewhere today. Well, I'm not really a shopper, and I'm not really into really eating out at restaurants too much. Once in a great while, I enjoy it, and so does Brad, but, you know, our, our cup of tea is being outdoors, and that's why we moved here. We like to be outside as much as possible. And um, our cup of tea is to get something to go, even if it's at a restaurant, and go to a park and eat. That's what we like. You know, I loved it today. We were out walking around there at Otter Lake. I had my cane. Brad brought my cane. We brought my rollator too, but at Otter Lake, there's picnic tables all over. So you just walk as far as you can and then I sit and I rest for a second and then I get up and you know and um, you know I really enjoy that you know and a lot of times I can pass pass a couple picnic tables and stuff and I so then I'm, I'm increasing how long I can walk the reason I have to stop for a minute is not um, my legs or anything it's to catch my breath you know um, better yep much better. Quiet too, honey. Was it loose? 
the fan blade was loose on the big fan. Thank you, sweetie. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's the breathing is is an issue. It's just my, ling my lungs need to be strengthened also. So, um, so we're going to do that three times a week. Um, push comes to shove. If Brad's working a shift where he absolutely couldn't come with me um, or that we couldn't do it, then I could walk the RV park. So now, instead of having taking the wheelchair with us everywhere, we take the rollator instead. And so, you know, um, and that's great because if I had the choice on whether or not I have to be in a wheelchair and pushed, or I have to use the rollator and I can sit for a moment, I'll, I'll do the walking instead. And I'm not, not looking down on anybody that's in a wheelchair because I have been, and I probably will be in the future, you know. And, but on the good days, you know, if I can, I want to get in as much physical activity as possible uh, just to become healthier. If I lose weight during all of this, great. But it's to be more mobile, to be where I can do more, like love being outside with the dogs and watching them frolic and play. Uh, you know, I love spending time with Brad. We love to go fishing and collect seashells and look at all the cool trees there at Otter Lake. There's this one tree, and it's so cool because there's two trunks. And then somehow, in the course of, of nature, they merged together, and then they both took off different ways. But it, it made this really cool knot. And then there's some of the trunks that the trees are still alive, but part of the trunk is all hollowed out. It's very cool. And, of course, you have all the, all the um, uh, uh, Spanish moss growing on all the trees. It's just beautiful, um, you know. <coughs> If I find my phone, I could show you guys where the picture I took early. I don't know what I did with my did phone. Did you take a picture of your phone? Well, I did the, I did the weather with my phone. I know. Huh. Well, I can't show you guys because I don't know what I did with my phone. Hmm. But anyway, um, we really, really enjoyed it. And I'm very... Proud. This is one of the, thank you, honey. No this is one of the, this is part of the Otter Lake there. You see all the Spanish moss hanging off the trees and stuff. It's just beautiful. Um, and, uh, but yeah, that's, that's our cup of tea. We, I, we really enjoyed it and stuff. And, um, tomorrow we have to take care of the stuff. We're still on the fence on whether or not we're going to go up to Tallahassee or not uh, Wednesday. Uh, it depends on what Irma does. If Irma take when they say when they think Friday or Saturday. Oh, okay. Well, I guess well then we have we will be fine yeah. to go up there. No, I will be going up there. Um, so yeah, we've been kind of watching that. Um, are we prepared? No. Uh, could we get prepared quick, fairly quickly? Yes. Yes. We always have enough provisions and, uh, you know, I, we could quick, we could, we're more prepared. Let me say this. We're more prepared than we were last year when her mind hit. Um, and we've talked about different options and, uh, we would know more what to do this year. Um, if it gets bad, yes, we would load the dog and the cat into the jeep and we would go inland this year um you know and brad said he knows enough people that we probably could park on their land or whatever yep. um you know but um we're just kind of watching and seeing what happens mm -hmm. so right hun yeah so but you had a nice day too you know you're not feeling day. are you feeling any better um off and on yeah yeah okay it's starting to settle down into my chest and so Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. You know I'm just being smart enough. I'm not happy to hear that at all. Hey, look at this. Yes. <laughs> that's what happens when you're outside playing all day. You know. Um, but yeah. Oh, and it was really cool when I uncovered all my um uh my art stuff outside. Because you know, I keep it covered with it with um a tarp. 
my table and everything. Um, there's little frogs coming out from underneath the tarp, popping away. And then when we were walking in the park today, um, there were little frogs popping in front of us yeah. and stuff. So see, and look, his arms move. <laughs> see him? He could do the funky chicken if he wanted to. So the and then his head turned all the way around. That's so, why. So does mine. See. Mine does, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> See, now he's being a fly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a very nice day. That, you know, one of my fondest memories of you and I was we had just, we had gone out, I think, to dinner to that fancy place. Mm -hmm. One of our first, you know, it wasn't our first date, but like, yeah. oh, look, his mouth opens too, honey. <laughs> look. Anyway, <laughs> I wasn't as weird as I am now when we oh. first met. But anyway, we'd gone out to dinner, and then we stopped at a park, and it had snowed. Not real bad, but it had snowed, and we were we went walking in the park. One of those romantic settings. And here it is, 29 years later, and, and you know, neither one of us looks the same, or and we, uh, you know, we don't walk the same, but we're still walking. Walking in the park, in your mm -hmm. hand. We, you could have hold, held in my hand. I couldn't keep up with you. Really? Yeah, you started taking off, and it was like, wait, well, uh, I don't think you knew where I was there for a while. No, I, I, would, I keep a close eye on you. Oh, you do? I didn't want to sit there too long, though, because that was a swampy area, and I thought a gator might come out. There are gator signs all over there. And yeah. we've seen. We've seen the Mac Daddy gator in the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And watch him going clear across the lake. Like, mm -hmm. I would love to go there, so what? Well, can't help it. <laughs> go there one of these days, Brad, and I have this all planned out. I want to get him a kayak. You want a kayak or a canoe? Probably kayak. He wants a kayak. I want to get him a kayak, and then he can put on his, his life vest, and he can go all over the lake, and I can sit there at the shelter on the picnic table and I can do artwork and it would just be awesome. You just want me to be gator me. I want you to have fun in your kayak but I won't be able to see you. So I can tell them, them, you know. Yeah. I don't even want to worry about that stuff. No. That worries me. Anyway, you're a good swimmer. Yes, I am. But anyway, that's what we would like to do. So, that would be cool. you know. It's such a pretty, tell Brad, I'm so glad they made that into a park so everybody can enjoy it. <laughs> There's been quite a few weddings and stuff there over the years and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm impressed how it's they, always, how it's always clean. Yeah, they keep it very clean and stuff and, and, you know, everything, so. But anyway, we've had a really nice day. I hope everybody's had a nice Labor Day. Um, you know, uh. One of my friends had some sad news today, and uh, and I'm not sure if she wants that public knowledge, so I'm not going to say say what it is, but just know that I'm thinking about you, and, um, and I'm not going to tell you who it is either, because I don't think she wants everybody to run over to her channel and ask her, so, but, um, you know, well, she didn't get the news today, she got a few days ago, but just know I'm thinking about it. And I want to say hi to Mary, Pam, Joy, Sunshine, Sunshine, Linda, Linda. Angie, Katie. and Pam and Rick, and Stephanie, and everybody else, Carol, so many other people. Really support, really. I'm appreciative of your love and support. And remember that I do love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so much. Thank you to all my new subscribers and my old ones. And uh, say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.